Why haven't you had all your kids with vampires? Well, I don't know. Hello everyone, Brittany here and welcome back to part 118 of... Ugh. I've been playing too many games lately. <laughs> All the 100 Baby Challenge. Mm. Okay, so where we left off, we're still having some slight difficulty gardening. Uh, harvesting went pretty well, but watering is quite annoying. Uh, and yesterday, we got to know Eric a little bit, and he kind of intruded on us and just kind of popped into our house and ate our pancakes uh, without asking. Which was a little uh, rude. Um, and if you didn't catch it, if you didn't watch all the way to the very very end of the video, um, I told you that the Ninja Turtle was my pumpkin that I had carved in the last part. Um, so no, I didn't forget it. I just wanted to put it at the very, 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 very end. So if anyone didn't catch that, I carved the Ninja Turtle. My husband carved Boba Fett. Um, he did a really good job. I mean, not that I didn't, but he did really good. He's such a, you know, he doesn't say he is, but he's really good at that kind of stuff. Like he's, um, I don't know, he just kind of, okay, like for instance, wrapping presents, all right? It's November now and Christmas is a common. It's my favorite season. I love Christmas time. I love decorating for Christmas. That's like my favorite thing ever. But, um, uh, mm, sorry, I can't talk and do this at the same time. But, um, like, I wrap presents okay, but they're by no means beautiful. Um, but when Adam wraps a present, they're like, they're like one of those, you know, expertly wrapped kind of presents. He just does it so neatly. I don't know what it is. And he does it without trying. I don't know. He's got some gift. I don't know. But anyway, um, so here we are. Today is the day when the baby comes. So hopefully that's going to happen in this part. I don't see why not. We got like 20 minutes. Hi, son. We're not talking to you. <laughs> so, okay, we're going to have you eat some breakfast, too. Are you done? Are all the plants watered? I think they are. Okay. Woo! I'm still having issues with my camera because I was playing uh, Jurassic World and the camera's, like, backwards in that game. So, let's get rid of this. We got 2,600, almost 1,700. I don't really care about those. Let's see what toys we got and don't got. Um, all right, we can get rid of that. Uh, do we have the carriage? We do. We have Mr. Choppy. We have the llama. We have the school bus, I think it is. And we have the triceratops. And we're good. I forgot you got the mail yesterday. All right, and you need to eat, so we're going to drink that because I find those slightly to be slightly more fulfilling than the uh, plasma fruit, and I just feel like we haven't gotten a lot of plasma fruit despite the fact that there's four of them out there. Um, ooh, some are sparkling. Where are the sparkles? Come back. There we go. <laughs> I thought I saw two. Maybe it's just the one. Okay. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, Audrey, did you eat yet? I believe you did. Audrey, yes, yeah, she got to know Eric Lewis a little bit, but he just kind of barged in like he owned the place, which was very rude. We could have her start writing books for once, um, because that's her aspiration and we never started it. Um, whatever. Okay, you're doing that, you're doing that, you're doing that... Let's have her, you know, let's have her keep practicing. You know, we'd never have anyone work on their athletic skill. Like, never. I mean, I don't either. <laughs> That's not my thing. Um, okay. I'm not a very athletic person. I'm just not, like, just not. Okay, oh, and also today we need to... You know what, Cora, come back here. Why don't you not pick up, but let's um, give some attention to the toddler here. What's her name? Zelda. Oh, oh excuse me. Mm, it is uh, 8.50 in the morning. Just had breakfast. This is the first thing I did. The Sims is how I start my day. Well, 
Actually, I've been playing a lot of Jurassic World, so that's kind of how I've been. Whatever. Anyway, let's have you play doctor, because you you're going to be doing that all day. And we're just going to give her a little attention before we try very hard to have her age up today. Um, because she only needs three in one skill plus potty. So, I think it's doable. She's up pretty early. Um... Don't, are you being, how can you be mean to a toddler? I mean, I know people can, but not in my house, okay? Just not. All right, we're going to have you stack. Oh, excuse me. All right, be nice. Fine. How's your book coming along? What are you writing? I don't know. A book. Oh, oh man, that was a big yawn. I didn't even yawn. Did I yawn at all in the last part? I don't know. Cause sometimes, ooh, I shouldn't be doing that. Uh, sometimes I record, if you couldn't tell, I do record some of my videos back to back, but sometimes I don't. Um, but in this case, I did. So, sometimes I record, like, um, what did I do last, was it last Sunday, or was it Saturday? I think I recorded five videos. My voice was so shot. <laughs> Um, okay, so, all good. Let's have another plasma pack. Uh, and Audrey is just gonna write her book. Ooh, man, we got, we got six hours. Ooh, I'm just gonna speed it up. Uh, okay, so let's have her go back to, um, boxing. Punch it, girl. Practice punching. Punch all those men out of your life. I don't know. No, you're not going to do that. You need them in your life because you need to have a hundred. Not a hundred babies, but you may be having upwards of 30 babies like your mother. So, I don't know where I was going with that. Nowhere, apparently. Okay, Molly is running amok per usual. Make sure everyone's all right. Ooh, man, I see that happening for sure. Uh-oh, uh-oh, bathroom alert, bathroom alert. We're speeding along here. We're not paying attention to the needs of the bathroom. Okay, excellent. Never eat your pet turtle or advice for kindergarten. I, I had a pet turtle as a kid. I didn't want to eat him. His name was Rocket. He was cute, guys. All right, keep stacking, and then we're going to have to have her sit on the pot like 500 times until she hits uh, level 3. I roll. Cora, how you doing? Oh, you're done. Uh, then let's get to painting because we still need money. Our, our money tree has not yet sprouted. It takes its precious time doing that. So, ooh, we have like four hours. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, all right, Audrey. Good job, girl. She painted her. She painted her first book, guys. Aren't we proud? <laughs> no, she wrote, she typed, whatever, her first book. Awesome. But I don't believe, uh, let's do romance. You know, Audrey knows a thing or two about romance. Uh, I don't think she can sell to publisher, love me once. That is so true with all her, yeah, with all the men she has a baby with. You just love them once and pretty much and then and, and she's done. But anyway. Uh, no, she can only self-publish right now, so we're not going to worry about that. That was another way we could make money, obviously, is to self-publish or publish books. Aside from the painting, I've just taken the painting route because books take forever to write. Um, oh, I feel like they're quicker than in The Sims 3, but they still take forever. And I know it's a book and it doesn't happen overnight, but for some people, maybe it could. Yes! Okay, she's at level 3 for I love this independent trait man I'm just I just should cheat the system and give it to all the toddlers but I shouldn't is that not right I don't want anyone to be mad at me for cheating is that really cheating though I mean they get a slight boost but it's not like a mega boost right oh. it's the morning I'm not thinking straight yet <sighs> alright How's your painting? Beautiful. 
sell it. Well, let's do a realism because that's our surrealism. One of the one of the realisms is your thing, so we'll do that. And we're gonna have her be on the pot for a while because uh, that's how she's gonna get to level three. Ooh, look at that! That went up massively. Yes, yes, that's what we need right now. He's bored as heck. See, that's why I don't like the insider trait because if you're not doing what is that in a club? Is that a club thing? Yeah, I just, I don't do the club gathering stuff, so that's why I don't like that trait. But now at least they gave you the option to retrait your sim. And I hope that uh, when you are, if you do do that, uh, where is it? Let's find it. Let's go. I think it's all the way at the bottom. Retrating potion. I hope that, you know, because you used to be able, or you can, uh, you know, do testing cheats on and do cast while item mode. And then you can change the traits. But they would still have, still like kind of have the trait. Because they would still have wishes for directed in that trait. Just directed in the area of that trait. So I'm hoping that if you retrait yourself that you don't, you know, let's say you're an athletic sim. And it wants you to buy, you know, a workout machine or go for a jog or something that, that doesn't keep coming up. I don't know. You know what I mean, though, right? I hope you do. Yeah, you're the boss, little girl. Now go over there. <laughs> Make a mess in the other toilet. Um, ooh, that's a new one. Cool. So, yeah. I just hope it doesn't leave a shadow of your previous trait that you may have gotten rid of. If you will. If you if you understand what I'm talking about. Which is why I like to trait my sims and be done with them. I don't like to go and cheat and retrait them. But now we can retrait them without cheating. Did you get that? There was that ch in there. Oh, Molly's on her bed. Cute. She didn't have a bed. Um, she would sleep on the couch. One of the couches. Because we had a, a an L-shaped couch in the family room. And we had a... Just a regular three-seat couch in the living room. So she would sleep on one. Or the chair. Actually, I think her favorite was sleeping on the recliner. So she would sleep on one of those. Um, oh, simmer down. I've had enough of your tantrums. And I don't even... <gasps> it's earlier than expected. Oh my god, guys. We've got it a labor. Alright, alright. Baby time. Let's go, girl. Let me think. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna say one of each. And you know, I don't know if you guys remember, but in the rules of this challenge, you cannot influence the the sex of the baby. So we can't, you know, have her eat strawberries and listen to pop music for a girl, and we can't eat carrots and listen to what I think it was alternative to have a boy. We can't influence it either way. It's a boy. So now Zelda was obviously Z, the last letter of the English alphabet. So, um, we're going to, what's her last name? Or his, I'm sorry, his last name is going to be Richards. And we're starting with A. So, good A name for a boy. Well, let's see what we started with. Excuse me while I look at my notes upside down because they're on a clipboard. Uh, we started with Aiden last time. So, let's do Aaron. Okay, Aaron and... Oh, I was wrong. Twin boys. Okay. Richards. And our son... Uh, the first two kids we had were with Don Lothario. And they were Aiden and Bruno. So, let's do... Um... Let's do Benjamin. Yeah. Aaron and Benjamin, everybody. Babies. Unfortunately, no girls, but that's okay. We still have two beautiful boys. Okay, so we got Benjamin over here. And we got Aaron over here. He's already hungry. They're already needy. Um, let's take care of him. All right, guys. So this is these are babies number uh, 29 and 30. So Audrey has officially had... 30 well okay she's had 30 kids no she hasn't i'll tell you why hold on a second let's have her go use the clean one um audrey hasn't specifically had 30 because when she had kids hold on i'm going back to my notes again 
when she had kids with Caleb, uh, which is which was Helena and Iris. I think Iris was one of the potential heiresses. I think um, when you have a vampire, they count as two, and it does say that in the rules. I'm not making it up. Um, it counts as two. So we had twin girls, and they were both vampires. So those were um, those were technically that was baby number eight and nine. But technically, because they counted as two, um, they were babies eight through, what was it? Eight through 11. So, technically, Audrey's only had 28 kids. But that's still a, a heck of a lot, okay? So, I think she's done pretty good, alright? So, yeah, because we had the vampire babies, they count as, as double. And you're probably like Brittany. Girl. Why haven't you had all your kids with vampires? Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's a good question. You just I should just fill the neighborhood. Oh, God, this kid. She's going to age up in a minute, too. Why haven't you just had all your kids with vampires? I don't know. But you know what we could do? We can't do it right now because we unfortunately we have a full house. So, what we could do is meet one of those two new vampires in the neighborhood, which I forget their names right now. Um, we could try to have kids with them next time, but I was trying to go through all the townies, and unfortunately, the only townie that's a vampire is Caleb. Not townie, whatever, you know what I mean. Um, so, I guess townie, whatever. So... I was trying to have babies with all the townies before they got old, and then I was going to have more... Oh, come on. Stop. Stop. Alright, well then, feed him. Because apparently we're being a bad mother. What else is new? Uh, I was, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to go through all the townies before they got old. Because I figured by the time our daughter starts, her, takes over in the challenge, that all the townies would be old and gross. So <laughs> I didn't really want to do that for her. Whatever. I mean, you know what, let's go, we should probably just go and meet one of them but let's have her age up first and i'm gonna get the uh the uh the thing oh i need the thing oh man i need the thing oh, hold on sir yes okay she is now at level three and everything so we have another birthday well i mean because technically the baby's birthdays are today but you know okay so let's get this party started so audrey Throw her traits in. As always, extra points if you remember what her traits are. Um, and then the dad is... Uh, oh, that's our pancakes girl. He is a loner, a slob, and gloomy. Okay. Not my favorite traits, but... But... They are different than the usual. I mean, it'd be nice to change things up. Okay, so I don't know if we have any more cake, because I believe that cake's spoiled. We do oh, we, oh, we do. We have zombie cake. All right, our daughter's getting zombie cake. Um, all right, she is tired, but that is just tough noogies. Um, we're going to add birthday candles, and is that one of my kids? It is not. Who are you? Oh, she's cute. Oh, I think she's, she's from the new neighborhood. That's right. That's right. Um, from the pets, the new pets neighborhood. Uh, alright, it is birthday time, everybody. It is another triple birthday kind of day. Uh, what's wrong with you? Oh, I'm neglecting you, that's what's wrong with you. Ooh, alright, he's in range of the compassionate trait. Awesome! And what about you? Ooh, she's up there too, but he's way surpassed it, so that's amazing. Uh, okay, let's, uh, blow out candles. Zelda. <sighs> and now all the brats can go to school tomorrow. <laughs> With the exception, obviously, of our two newborn baby boys. Alright, you can go grab leftovers. And you kind of need to go to the bathroom, too. 
Audrey, get in there and help celebrate your daughter's birthday. Come on now. That zombie just killed me. It's so cute. Love the purple hair. Oh, no, it's brains. It's not hair. It's brains. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Let's generate child and see what she's going to get. Please don't be creative. Oh, she's a goofball. Okay, that's different. We don't have a lot of goofballs, I don't believe, or any. I don't remember. And then she wants to be a social butterfly. Uh, all right. So there is... Oh, look how cute with the glasses. There is Zelda. Love the jammers. Very appropriate. Even though we're just past Halloween, it's still pretty appropriate. And we're going to have her just go right ahead, get some leftovers, put this cake away, because we don't want our zombie brains to spoil now. Uh, no, you're not going to bed. Eat something, please. You need to eat before you go to sleep, because you are very hungry. Uh, all right. Excellent. I am extremely happy when we have a lot of birthdays. All right, you need to go to the bathroom also, or not also, but you need to go to the bathroom. Audrey, one of your sons is crying. Please get on it. Is there something outside? No. Uh, okay. I'm just making sure that she wasn't like gonna disappear on us or anything. Okay, you have a little fun. So we'll have, ooh, ooh, please clean these. These are nasty. And you're eating. Oh, she looks cute. Um, She's just going to eat and go to sleep because she is exhausted. I don't know if she'll make it through doing her homework at all. And it's already 9 o'clock. It's a bit late for the kiddos, but you know what? We don't discriminate on, we don't have a curfew? Well, we kind of do. But they kind of slept in. I mean, look how, look how energized she is for 10 o'clock at night. If it's 10 o'clock at night for me, I'm, like, exhausted. <laughs> Which is really sad. All right. Eat grilled fruit. So, Audrey, unfortunately, is going to age up a couple days, which is scary because she is creeping up on becoming an elder. But that's okay because we can have her become an elder. We don't have to make her a vampire. I made her boyfriend in, you know. I like how she just disappeared and reappeared and then disappeared again. Um, we don't have to, what I'm thinking is I was going to make her a vampire, but we can, but I want to age her back. Um, do we have the, uh, I don't want to breeze past it. Potion of youth. Could always do that after she moves out on your sim's current age so she can't she can't um we can't let her become an elder because then we can't rewind the clock well we can we could cheat and do it um we'll have to see i don't know I don't know how uh, quickly our kids are going to age up, although probably pretty quickly considering... Oh, I ain't listening to that. Um, hopefully pretty quickly considering they're... Uh, I hope so. We can maybe have kids one more time. Maybe. We'll see. We will see, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe because that would mean the world to me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.